Welcome back to our four part series on email marketing for photographers. This is the second video in our series. In our first video, we discussed the importance and benefits of an email list in general for photographers. I even shared how one of my funnels brought in a $6,000 client in one week. If you missed that video, I'll link it below and also up here. So I encourage you to check it out. Now in today's video, I want to share with you the three important parts of an automated funnel and basically give you a bird's eye view of the entire process. Hey, hey friends, Heather Chesky here, the creator of The Booked Photographer. After being unexpectedly laid off from my steady day job well over a decade ago, I built a multiple six-figure photography business while simultaneously raising my babies and homeschooling. And I did this with zero formal business training and in the middle of a saturated area. Now, in the beginning, nobody, and I mean nobody, thought it was possible to make a consistent living as a photographer but they were wrong. It's absolutely possible to make a great living as a photographer and I can show you how. Every week we put out new videos to help portrait and wedding photographers attract their ideal clients and fill their calendar so they can consistently contribute to their family finances. But here's the catch. We are not about grinding it out or neglecting your marriage or your children or your sleep. After all, what's the point of building a business if you lose or miss out on life's most important relationships? So here we put God first, family second, and only pursue the most impactful things in marketing and business, not the things that waste your valuable time and won't make a bit of difference at the end of the day. If that resonates with you, stick around, subscribe, and enjoy. There are three basic parts to an automated email funnel. They are snag, serve, and sell without feeling sleazy. Let's talk about each of these steps a little bit more thoroughly. The first part of this process is to snag or capture a potential client's name and email address. How do you do this? Well, my favorite way is to encourage someone to sign up for my email list is to offer them some sort of a freebie. This is called an opt-in or a lead magnet in the online marketing space. Lead magnets can vary from photographer to photographer and niche to niche, but it's basically a short and sweet guide or checklist that offers something of value to a specific client. It answers questions that they have or solves a problem that they have been facing. Let me go ahead and give you some examples. If you are a newborn photographer, your ideal client is likely a first time mom who may be feeling a tad overwhelmed with all the things she needs to purchase for her newborn and in the nursery. You can offer a checklist of the top 10 newborn nursery items to have. And on that list, you can subtly interject that beautiful portrait that you photograph and you provide of that newborn. In order for that mom to get this checklist, she must provide her name and email and then you email that lead magnet to her. Back when I was photographing weddings, I provided a month by month wedding planning checklist to my brides. It would guide them in what to focus in on each month leading up to their big day. Brides would also type in their name and email to receive that checklist from me. Again, the kind of freebie or lead magnet you provide must be relevant and desirable for your ideal photography client. If you're not sure what that is, ask yourself, what is my ideal client asking or wondering about before they hire a photographer like me? Okay, so let's move on to part number two of the automated email funnel. Part two is to serve. When this is automated, the email address you just acquired from your lead magnet is then automatically subscribed to an onboarding sequence through your email provider. In part four of this series, I'll show you exactly how to create this on your own. An onboarding series is a collection of five to seven emails that have been pre-written and are automatically emailed over the course of the next one to two weeks. These onboarding emails continue to offer value to your potential clients. They share a bit about how you help the people you photograph. They include testimonials and a various calls to actions to follow you on social media, join your Facebook group, and or to take the next step in booking you. The initial onboarding series is a way for your new subscriber and potential client to get to know you better. As your subscriber gets to know you, they will feel more comfortable and are more likely to book you. The third and final part in this process is to sell. 
It would be wise for you to create an online booking calendar where a potential client can either schedule a session with you and or schedule a time to speak with you about their session or wedding. Personally, I use an online calendar called Calendly. My potential client can select the best date and time to speak with me on the phone regarding my photography. I'm not gonna go into much detail about what to do on that specific call because I've already created an entire video about that, which I will link below and right up here on the top. Because your onboarding series has already delivered a week's worth of valuable content first, your prospect feels like they know you and can trust you. You've already given them helpful information, so it's way easier to book them in with that kind of history because the selling doesn't feel sleazy or slimy. This process, the snag, serve, and sell is built once, automated, and then can turn dozens or hundreds of prospects into paying photography clients. What I love about this process is that it's set up and then it works for you in the background. You can be off at another photography session while someone is automatically receiving your emails. Let me know in the comments below, what ideas do you have for your lead magnet or opt-in? What do you feel would be the most valuable for your ideal clients? If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe and follow along so that you are notified when part three comes out. In part three of the email marketing for photographers series, we are going to do an email breakdown. I'm going to tell you exactly what to put inside each and every email, so be sure to subscribe. Hey friend, before you go, be sure to grab yourself a copy of our ebook called The Becoming Booked Method, a photographer's guide to a fully booked calendar and a profitable business. It is by far the most comprehensive resource that will help you attract and book ideal clients, price your work, and scale your photography business. Head on over to www.thebookedphotographer.com backslash book or click the link that you see somewhere around this video to grab your very own copy.